Okay, welcome back ladies and gents. We are now going to be looking at these two uh, fields here that I mentioned in a previous uh, video. As you can see here, at the moment we've got these uh, fields work, which work perfectly fine. If I click on um, iTonya, you'll have all the iTonya details. 47 people went to watch that film. In total, the cinema made 400, almost £70 from the showing of that film. That works out to be about 8.6% of their total revenue for those five months. And it works out to be about £9.99 per customer. Be nice to know how long that film was and to see how um, uh, it works out per minute. Um, so, what we're going to do is small little changes. Shouldn't take too long, so you'll have to bear with me. We're going to use this list of films, movies here, but we need to add a couple of more, uh, sorry, another column over here in B. So, we're going to go over here, and what we're going to do is basically going to get. We'll go right to the top and we're going to select everything from name of movie up to duration and go all the way down. There we go. We're going to copy this, so control and C or right click and copy. We're going to go to the list of movies and we're just going to paste it in here. Okay, so either paste it like that or just control and paste. Now you might be thinking, but sir, that's going to mess everything up, and that's correct, that is true, but we're going to fix it. Um, we're going to go to data and we're going to remove all the. Um, oh, sorry, I just realized something. Cancel, forget that, ignore me. I forgot to copy the top as well the headings. So I'm going to go right to the top and then in. So we want all of them. There we go. So copy, now go back and now paste. I'm um, going to expand these, going to expand that. Um, actually let's delete the middle one, we don't need that. Delete, there we go. Make this smaller so it's easy to see. and bring these in as well and what we're going to do is go down to the bottom select this entire section there we go and oh, missed one by accident go right to the top and what we're going to do is basically do what we did last time with the list remove the repetition um, and I believe I did yes both of them press ok there we go so it keeps the the list and it keeps the numbers that correspond with that list. What we need to do now is um, go back to here. So double check that this still works and it should do. I think the order's changed, but it's still there. There you go. And that still works as well, which is perfect. What we're going to do here is we're going to get the duration as a V lookup. So that's what this section is called Section 12 V lookup. And we're going to go in here. And we're going to press equals and we're going to ask the um, the spreadsheet the data modeling sheets here to check this oh sorry we have to type in, we have to type v lookup first that would make sense v lookup brackets now we ask it to check this in the list of movies this area here okay and you know what i just realized i'm going to do something else um, yeah, I'm going to do something else. I'm going to delete this. Ignore me. Because I just realized an opportunity for additional marks. I'm going to select all this. And I'm going to type here. List of movies. Actually, let's put movie list. Movie list. So we're going to name this. So that's another thing that you can comment and screenshot and put in there. So movie list, that's been saved. Now I'm going to go back and do the same thing here. Back to where I was. So V lookup brackets open. We're going to check this inside here. And what I should do is, there you go. Can you see it recognizes this movie list? Comma. And I want the number two because it's going to basically look for that name from the first column and then copy over what's next to it in column two. That's what that number two means here. Bracket, enter, done. Now, we're almost there, but we have to test it. Just make sure everything's fine. So, for example, 
here good time this is 105 let's just make sure it actually is so good time 101 so can you see it's not correct and there's a reason for that we need to make this alphabetical order so we're going to sort this a to z do we want to expand the selection meaning do we want this side here the duration to move with its partner on the left yes we do so we say sort and now it's an alphabetical order annabelle that's a all the way down to w and the numbers have matched it as well we go back over here what you'll notice here is that the order here is also in alphabetical order which which is perfect and now can you see good time is 101 and if you look for g for good time you should see there we go 101 perfect so i'm going to go back here do another check make sure it does work so i'm going to go for mother it says 121 that's in minutes mother 121 there we go perfect so we know that's working so that's another thing you need to screenshot now. You're going to show this code here, explain that you created the VLOOKUP. The way you've done that is by updating your list of movies here. You name these cells here as movie list. You inserted the uh, duration of the movies. And now this will automatically pull up how long that movie is. Um, and that's going to be used for the next bit, which is to find out how much it works out per minute. So pause the video here. Add the comments in here, add the comments in there, screenshot both the formula in particular, very, very important, show the formula here at the top and put it into here. Okay, now we're going to move on to the last bit here, which is figuring out how, figuring out how, how that works out per minute. Uh, and you'll see why that's important in a moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to say equals, um, this is how much it costs, uh, um, they made, the cinema made from this film. So we're going to get this. And we're going to divide it, which is this symbol here, by the minutes that it, uh, it was on for. There we go. So this basically means that the cinema was making £1.86 per minute while this film was showing. Okay. Now you'll see what I'm, why this is important in a second. So let's go for another film, uh, something popular. Let's say, if I can find Star Wars, that would be useful. Star Wars. And there you go. This works out to be £5.36 a minute. So can you see, for every minute this film was showing, they were making almost three times as much as Mother. Okay? Um, so this is why this is so useful. So you can get that kind of depth of analysis uh, from this kind of breakdown. So you're going to screenshot this and explain why this was useful as well. Okay? Um, the next point after that, I would say, is making this look a bit more attractive. So maybe... Um, putting borders around each one of these and um, changing the font of these yeah coming up with the color scheme that matches that as well and just make it look a little bit more presentable 